Hello Scorpio, this is your weekly reading for October 17th, 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I do daily TikTok videos if you're interested in uh, following me on TikTok. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. So, for the weekly... Uh, collective crystal I picked, or crystals, as you can see, is the Rainbow Aura Quartz. I got this from an Etsy shop. I don't remember the name of it, but if you get any crystals online, make sure they're legit. And also Selenite. I got this as a gift from my sister. So Selenite and Rainbow Aura Quartz is all about cleansing out the toxic shit in your life, in yourself, um, your surrounding energies, the people around you. It's really about setting things free so that way you can move forward and go where you need to go. So, in a positive way, of course. And I feel like that a lot of people collectively have been going through some things. A lot of transitions, a lot of cutting people out, a lot of stuff like that. So... That's why I was drawn to those two crystals collectively. Feel free to Google more information about them on how they could work for you. All right, Spirit, let's get into the reading of Scorpio. All right, Spirit. What general messages do you have for Scorpio for the week of October 17th, 2021? We're taking both of these. We have the Hierophant. You are learning some lessons. We also have the Moon in Reverse. So not only are you learning some lessons, but there's some things that are coming to light for you, Scorpio. So there, some of the things that have been a mystery are coming to light of, oh, okay. The Hierophant is about authority, structure, learning. Um, it's also a marriage card, but so far I don't see that yet. If that's going to even come out. But, you know, I am seeing that with the Moon card coming right after. This is about some kind of lesson. Um, this is the Seven of Pentacles. So this could, in reverse. So this could be about money of you refocusing your finances this could be about how can you make more money how can you put more into um your financial structure like how can you for some of you i heard in my head how can you reconstruct your portfolio some of you might be in investments You are seeing a clearing where, with where you want to go. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So I do feel like you are finding a clearing of looking at the path of where you want to go. The Ace of Swords is all about cutting shit down and clearing things out for yourself. The Seven of Wands, you know, you are moving forward, but you are feeling a little pressure. Uh, from it. It's like you are wanting to make movement, but you're feeling the pressure of being held back a little bit. Um, this could be in different areas of your life. We also have the Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So considering that you jump from the Seven of Wands to the Page of Wands is actually a good sign. So it's not something that's going to be holding you back for long. And then you're going to get to the place of, okay, I'm sitting here at the Page of Wands. I'm looking at where I'm going to go next. I'm looking at, you know, um, I know I'm not going to go backwards, so let's go forwards. And here's the Queen of Wands. There you go. The Queen of Wands is all about fast movement. It's all about, she's all about, uh, and this isn't gender specific. It's just, it's the Queen. Queen of Wands is all about uh, creativity. She's about bringing fire and passion and 
going for it, the confidence of going for something. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning. You have two new beginning cards in here. One with the swords of clearing shit out and you seeing where you can go. And then the Ace of Pentacles, which is in the money area, which is also in, you know, financial stability. That type of thing. So you could definitely be, you know, uh, looking at stuff for that. You know, looking forward. Yeah. Seven of Cups. You're looking to fill your cup. Okay, now here is a, a wedding celebration card. So you very well could be, you know. And with the Seven of Swords in reverse, you know, like you're surrendering to the idea of the celebration. You are surrendering to an idea of uh, connecting. Now, see, the celebration card doesn't necessarily have to be about a wedding, but it could be about... Anything, any kind of personal uh, struggle that you overcame, this is a sense of celebration. If I had seen the lover's card or something like that, I would have definitely thought that. But I do feel like you are filling up your own cups and you are realizing how many things you have going for you. And you're surrendering to the idea of, I don't have to be on defense all the fucking time. You know, like, I don't have to always be looking over my shoulder. And you're feeling that good grace. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. It's about forward movement. It's about focusing. Focusing on what you need to focus on for yourself when it comes to money. Or stability. You know, this could be a better relationship for you as well, but I'm not seeing that just yet. Yeah, the chariot. Yep, you're wanting to go forward. But you do get indecisive. You kind of go back and forth where, am I doing the right thing? Am I needing to do it like this? And sometimes you probably tend to overthink a little bit, Scorpio, to where, you know, here's a judgment card. Some of you could be going through some legal matters to where it feels heavy. And here's the temperance. So if you're going through any kind of legal matters and you feel the weight of that, it might imbalance you a little bit to where, you know, but I don't, I don't see this as being a permanent thing. I see this as... Once you get past your legal shit, you're going to be good. You know, it's just feeling the weight of the transition at this time. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Which, you know, if this is a past energy of somebody that you're trying to go through legal matters with, they tend to throw shit back up at you. And it makes you sad. But you have your idea of the world in front of you. So that is where you need to keep your focus and your mindset. This other energy here that you could be having legal problems with or you could be going through something with them where you're trying to shift them out of your life for good. <sighs> Very temporary transition. Once you get past that, you are back on making your world happen. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week. Keep your eye on the prize, which is your world, and I will talk to you soon.